Hi, I'm Fred Studer, and I'm joined by my friend and colleague, Mike Clayville. Mike, thanks for joining us. I'm just delighted to be here, Fred. Thanks for inviting tell. me. I can tell. It's really exciting. I hope everybody gets to, to feel the energy here. Um, I thought we'd start off, Mike, by just uh, having you quickly introduce yourself. Mike is the VP of Worldwide Commercial Sales for AWS. Obviously, a very exciting business. You have like one of the most fun jobs, I think, on the planet. I, th I feel like I'm just like the luckiest person on earth, right? Because this is one of the most important technology transformations in history. And in fact, I believe that we'll look back five years from now and recognize that this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. I think we'll also look back and say, you know what, 2017 was a pivotal year for cloud adoption. And, you know, companies that are bringing solutions to the table to help big enterprises and small alike with their migration to the cloud will have a disproportionate impact on the marketplace. Look, I have over a million customers around the world. I'm seeing the market move in a way that is, is, is unprecedented. Um, you know, AWS has a, a ton of services. We have over 70 services by a wide margin, the largest number of services available anywhere in the marketplace. And we, we're growing rapidly. We, uh, we just announced our earnings uh, a couple of weeks ago. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Uh, we're at $13 billion run rate, growing at 55% year on year. Yeah. Um, uh, and you know, what matters is the fact that we're creating value for our customers. One of the things you'll hear us talk about a lot is being customer obsessed. We want to be the most customer obsessed company on the planet. Mm -hmm. So. You know, the results are just a lagging indicator of the important things that we're doing, which is helping customers migrate to the cloud with great partners like Gigamon. I love it. And nobody's going to get irritated about customer obsession. I mean, I, I love it. Um, you hit something really funny, and you know, we've been joking about it because we love waves, but this wave of cloud, I don't think it could be any wider. Like, I, I don't know how far, like, oh, I don't even think people <laughs> could even see how wide this thing is. But when you start thinking about enterprises and even mid-sized and small companies, what are the big opportunities for them in public cloud, specifically in FY17? Well, I tell you, it's just amazing what enterprises are doing with the cloud. You know, some enterprises are creating entirely new markets, the, the likes of so Airbnb exciting. and yeah. the likes of uh, Pinterest, likes of Supercell, really fundamentally changing the totally characteristics new. of the market. This technology platform allows market disruption in a way no other technology that's been, that's emerged has allowed. And I got to tell you, today there's some kids someplace sitting around thinking about something that's going to fundamentally disrupt traditional enterprises tomorrow. And they're going to be leveraging the cloud to do that. Uh, so fundamentally changing uh, markets, we see Enterprise creating entirely new categories. General Electric, GE came up with something that they call Predix, yeah. which is an extension of the current product offering right. into the software category. And mm -hmm. you know, Jeff Amell talks about the fact that an industrial company may have gone to bed as a manufacturer, but they woke up as a software company. And it's so true today, and it'll be even more true tomorrow. So people are finding ways to extend their current product offerings. Completely. The final way people are, are leveraging the cloud is they're finding ways to save money. And oftentimes, almost every customer saves money. Always important. Right, saves money. Uh, you know, whether NL, the largest utility company in the world, will tell you they're saving between 30 and 50%, GE saving 52%. But in the end, they say, you know what, that's not the real value of the cloud. What's, what is the real value of the cloud is it's my ability to be agile in the marketplace, mm -hmm. to a, address new uh, approaching opportunities, to predict what customers are going to want tomorrow and be there just as they need it. And so in the end, that's really what's driving the, the cloud adoption. It's amazing. And hopefully some of those kids that are thinking of new things uh, happen to uh, be our offspring. I'm <laughs> yes. hoping for that. I hope get, true, get the next wave. I we know they're, true, they're capable. Uh, but you know, as you think about that, you know, so enterprises are going to be moving. I love this notion of, of, of you're, you're obsessed with your customers so they can be obsessed with their customers, uh, giving them the opportunity to have uh, the ability to be agile and to create these new business models is yeah. so cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, but one of the things at least that we're finding in working with you, which is just kind of core to our, our, you know, what we do in our DNA to help, 
is companies always need visibility, whether they're you know, on-prem, which was kind of a little bit easier, but as you start to move to the cloud, we can offer some really great ways to provide that visibility. So how are you seeing companies think about that? Yeah, I get to tell you, if there's one thing that I would say customers ask me the most for, the most for, it's really deep visibility into data at motion. All right, how do I protect? How do I uh, secure? How do I deeply understand that data in motion? And, and you know, if you think about what am I going to do with the cloud, I'm going to build new applications, and those new applications are probably going to be very customer-centric. They're going to be you know, big, deep analytics to predict what customers are going to need, and so mm -hmm. the kind of data that's going to be transferred there, transferred through there, they're going to care deeply yeah, about, very right? Important. It's going to be a lot of public facing data that you're really going to want to know what's going on with that data so you can protect yourself from threats, right? Right. Um, and then the, the other thing they're going to be doing is they're going to take that data and they're going to create kind of meaningful value propositions for customers. And, and you want that data stable if your customers are beginning to rely on their value proposition. And so tools that can give you that transparency are going to be really important. Obviously, we can't get through a day, Mike, without hearing about some cyber security threat or breach or whatever. Obviously, you guys have to take that very seriously because mm -hmm. people are moving these critical workloads with lots of really important data that are running on your network. So how do you think about cyber security and really how to protect from those threats? Yeah, so the first thing I would say is um, security is job zero for AWS. It's the most important thing we do. What we really offer is trust. And that's, that's what we sell. It's not infrastructure as a service, it's trust. And so we spend a disproportionate amount to ensure that our customers are protected, right? And the you know, cyber threats are just increasing every day. And so we're building a really rich set of services that allow you to leverage a platform in a highly secure way. And so it's great to have a great partner like Gigamon that has a set of services that integrate with ours. So the whole package provides a much better security platform for really important customer data. Terrific, we, we think about it uh, in the same way and I love that notion. Yeah, security is job zero. Yeah. It's great, love it. Well. You've heard it, the, the prediction is, we're going to look back on 2017 and say, oh my goodness, look what happened. And it's just awesome to be partnered with you to help drive that innovation. I'm delighted to be here and delighted to have you as a, a great partner, Fred. Well, Thanks for inviting me. You bet, thanks a lot, Mike. You really bet. appreciate it. Uh, thank you guys for uh, joining us. If you want any more information, you can go to gigamon.com, but uh, obviously we're very excited about this. Go ride that cloud wave.